Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can send WhatsApp images to Slack channel automatically so that your team stays updated. Here WhatsApp and Slack are two different communication platform and there is no direct connection between WhatsApp and Slack. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Public Connect. So that whenever a new image is received on WhatsApp, Public Connect will automatically send image on Slack at the same time. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with the process. Okay, so this is my WhatsApp and this is the group where I'll receive the image and uh, this is the Slack and this is the channel WhatsApp message where I'm going to receive the same image. Okay, so here in the WhatsApp, I'm going to send an image from here and uh, yeah, suppose this one. Okay, so I'm going to send this one with a caption of suppose set your goal. Wonderful. Now send it okay so here i have sent it now i'm going back to the slack and here i'm going to see whether i have received an image or not okay yeah so here i have received the same image at the same time that's how we have connected whatsapp with slack through public connect here for sending whatsapp messages i have used chat api i have used chat api for sending whatsapp messages and it is a third party application I will add the link in the description box about the setup and installation of chat API and two more important things about chat API is that it is a paid software and secondly public connect doesn't own it so make sure your phone should be connected and the status should be authenticated okay so here to initiate the process I'm typing pably.com in the new tabs browser okay so here type pably p a b b l y pably dot sorry dot sorry dot com okay so press enter okay so this is the site of pably here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect okay this is the landing page of pably connect here you have to sign in as i've already created my account that's why i'm directly signing in you can also create your free account just in two minutes so i'm signing in okay so this is my account and here you have to click on connect access now just scroll it down a bit okay and here connect access now okay that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pably connect and here you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button so click on it and here you have to name your workflow so i'm naming it as whatsapp to slack okay now click on create okay so this is the name of your workflow here i would like to mention that i will add the link of this workflow in the description box you can directly clone it and directly access it into your account here whenever you click on create these two windows will appear these two windows what are these two windows this window is known as trigger window and this window is known as action window now you might be thinking or the very first question is what is this trigger or what is this action so let me tell you when it comes to automation it works on the concept of trigger and action trigger says when this happens action says do this suppose in this use case that means this one whenever a image a image is received on whatsapp public connect will automatically send it to slack at the same time so here whenever a new image is received will be a trigger and send the same image on slack will be action of this process okay so now to initiate the process let's choose the trigger application and that is chat api we are using third party application to connect with whatsapp okay so here chat api and the trigger event is new messages okay so here what we have to do we have to make a connection for that we have to use public connect here i'm going to connect chat api with public connect first and then public connect with slack in this manner we are going to make a connection okay so here first for connection of chat api with public connect here i'm going to click on connect 
and here these two fields that is api url and token we have to fill these fields now how after the successful installation of chat api now go back to chat api and here this is the url okay just copy it okay and here just paste it wonderful now in the token section just go back to chat api and here it is a token okay just copy it and paste it here okay now save the credentials and you are successfully connected okay now click on save and send test request first okay and here it will be waiting for webhook response so just click on it once okay and now i'm going back to my whatsapp and here i'm going to send an image okay as it is waiting for the webhook response so i'm going to send an image and this time let's say this one okay so yeah and here the image is done and here i'm making a caption that is set your goal on priority okay so this is the message or caption yeah here we are sending image with text okay so here i'm going back to this public connect and we'll see okay so here we have received the details that means the text of image and the image url okay so this is the image and this is the group in which it is sent and here it is the url body is url okay so we have got the details now i'm adding action window for sending these details to our action application okay because we have received this detail in our public connect now i'm sending it to my action application that is slack okay so here i'm choosing the action application that is slack okay now this is slack choose it okay and here action event now we have successfully connected chat api with public connect now we are connecting public connect with slack okay so here the action event is as i have already told you that i have sent image with text okay so i'm um, selecting this particular event send channel message with image okay so here i'm going to click on connect button just to connect public connect with slack okay here connect with slack and here public connect will ask for the permission so you can give access as public connect is 100% safe to use so here click on allow okay so successful authorization and here after connecting these fields will be visible okay so that is channel message type message image url and image all text okay so here i'm going to tell you what i'm going to choose here okay so here all the channels are visible okay from your slack as how many channels are there in slack all will be visible in this section okay so here you have to choose in which you want to receive the image so i want to receive the image in this particular channel okay i'm going back to slack okay these are all the channels that are visible there okay so yeah i want to receive in this particular group or this particular channel okay that's why i have chosen this so we are going back to public connect okay here message type is plain text and this markdown is a language of some kind of slack that's why i'm keeping it as a plain text okay so here in the message i'm going to type the message as new image is received okay and here i am typing or i'm mapping the data which data let me just scroll it above and here it is the detail okay so yeah here okay so above details will be mapped here here image url which url let me just show you this particular url okay now here image all text the text is that means these kind of text that how image is shown okay so here i'm going to add it as just a random one new image okay that's it
okay so here i'm going to click on save and send test request just to see the response or just to, just to see whether we receive the same image on slack in the same channel that is whatsapp message or not okay okay so here okay so here all the details are visible that means our image has been sent okay now going back to the slack channel okay so here this is the image that we have sent on whatsapp that means this one okay and here it is the same one so that's how we have connected whatsapp with slack now going back to public connect here minimizing the windows okay so here what we have done we have made a connection we have made a connection between chat api and slack through pably connect first we have connected chat api and then we have connected pably connect with slack that's how we have built a connection now i hope you really found the video helpful please like share and subscribe the video and if you have any query please visit pably.com p a b b l y.com and all the links will be given in the description box you can directly visit from there Thank you so much for watching.